Hi, I'd like to show you how I created this custom blog header in the Cadence theme. The header uses dynamic content, the blog post title, the date that it was posted and the featured image are all dynamic content. The reason why I created this header is because as a portrait photographer, I kind of struggled to get that hero image that needs to be horizontal. So this way it allows me to have more options to use a vertical portrait image as a featured image. So let's get started. You will need to have the two pro plugins from Cadence. This can't be done on the free versions. So you will need to have the Cadence Block Pro extension as well as the Cadence Pro Premium add-on. Once you've purchased them and downloaded and activated those plugins, you will need to make sure, so you go Appearance, Cadence, that you toggle on conditional headers and hooked elements here as well. There's also some great tutorials and documentation that you can read through as well. But we are going to create this custom blog header. So Cadence Elements, add new content section, now name it. And the first thing that we're going to do is add a row layout. I'll turn on the list view so you can see what we're creating. And in that row layer, I'm going to have two sections. Just gonna make sure that it is aligned middle and both sections are aligned middle as well. Okay, so in the first row layout what we're going to do is go to background overlay settings and add a gradient. The overlay opacity is 100, the color, another great thing about Cadence is the global color palette. I'm just going to choose select this color and for the second color I'm making it white and the location is 50 and the location is around the 55 mark and the angle 90. Okay, and in the first section, we're going to add that dynamic content, which is the title using advanced text. With the cadence theme, one little quirk, is you have to add a little bit of text in. So click on the dynamic content icon and we're going to use post title and the content source is current post. Now add that dynamic content. Just remove that I, center, font size 40, color white, and the next Dynamic content is advanced text again, align text in the middle, and the dynamic content icon, and it's going to be the post date. Add dynamic content, color white. And size, I'm going to do this at 20. Then the final section is the advanced image. Now on the right, I'm just going to click on dynamic image, enable dynamic image, and include it to be the featured image. And there we have it, created a custom 
blog header using the featured image, the title of the blog post and the date that it was posted. Now we have to adjust the settings for the placement of this custom blog header. Now to do that we come into the element settings and we just want to make sure that the, it is placed before all content of the blog post and then it's shown on single posts. You can add more rules if you like and user settings we're just going to make it visible to all users and device settings and expire settings i don't need to change them and that's how you create this custom blog header using the featured image the blog post title as well as the date that it was posted